Hi everyone, thanks for stopping by. We're Neek and Kyle and we're so excited to take you on a delicious adventure in our very first episode. Today we're going to Flushing Chinatown in Queens to try some of the most highly recommended dishes from a few outstanding restaurants. Flushing is about 10 miles east of the city and most New Yorkers will take the 7 train to get there, which will conveniently drop you off in the center of Chinatown on the train's last stop. We traveled from Jersey City to get there, which is a bit of a trek, but in our opinion was worth the trip. So if you're ready, let's get this food tour started. really hot <laughs> okay that looks delicious so I'm gonna go in Get it for the first bite mm. what do you think mm. is it oh spicy God. that's a big bite no it's not spicy at all right okay it's my turn I'm gonna take a bite here and uh, see what we think That's so good. It's so flavorful. Yeah, it's more flavor than it is spice. Yeah, it's good flavor, right? Yeah, no, it's it's excellent. The dumpling is super soft, kind of like melts in your like mouth. Yeah. Oh my god, it's so good. Yeah, it's really silky. Lots of umami. So good. Yeah, the chili sauce is where it's at. Another bite. Mm. After White Bear, we walked a block to New World Mall to the food court located in the basement floor. There you will find over 20 food stalls offering some of the most mouth-watering dishes from noodle soups to dumplings to my favorite boba milk tea. After some serious deliberations, we decided to get two items from Xi'an Cuisines. I got the spicy beef noodles and Kyle got the traditional Chinese burger with pork. I didn't try the burger, but I have to say that I still dream about the spicy beef noodles. My favorite thing about the dish was the chewy, thick noodles that perfectly soaked up the delicious savory sauce. And of course, I had to pack on the chili oil, which surprisingly, Kyle was able to handle. So, I've already tried this, but... I want to kind of describe it to you because this is fantastic. The shell is almost like a puff pastry, kind of like a, a pot pie. And then on the inside is some like shredded, uh, shredded beef with some, uh, I want to say some scallions or onions. It's absolutely fantastic, guys. Um, highly recommend it. Super crispy, super flavorful. 
a little salty, but not too much. All right, so next up I'm trying this noodle dish. Um, it's supposed to be uh, spicy according to Nick, but um, if you know me, I'm not really a fan of overly spicy. Um, I like a good flavor, um, but not like too spicy. Nick, on the other hand, she likes to make herself cry. Um, it's actually kind of funny watching her eat um, spicy food because <laughs> she's over there sniffling and uh, wiping away her tears. Uh, so here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a nice little bite here inside the sauce and we'll get a nice Take out the cilantro. So guys, I'm like one of the, what, 10% of uh, people where cilantro tastes like soap. Um, I, I'm part of the unfortunate crew. So I'm gonna get rid of that. Okay. Super flavorful, not too spicy. Mm -hmm. The um, the sauce here, you can see it's a little bit intimidating. You can see it could potentially be really spicy, but on a scale of one to 10, I think it's probably like, um, like a four or five. Not bad at all. God, it's just so good. You gotta come check this place out. After Xi'an Cuisines, we needed to take a break from eating and stop for a refreshing pick-me-up at Tiger Sugar. Tiger Sugar is a Taiwanese boba tea chain with a cult following. The chain opened its first location in Flushing and since then has opened up shop in Brooklyn and Manhattan. We got the large sugar milk boba and pearl with cream mousse and can honestly say we get the hype. We both agreed that it was one of the best milk teas we've ever had. After finishing the boba tea, we were fully ready for more food. We made our way to Shanghai Yu Garden to try the highly raved Peking duck buns and soup dumplings. Unfortunately, the restaurant had a 40 minute wait, so we decided to go to another flashing favorite, Joe's steamed rice roll. Joe's Steamed Rice Roll is located in a tiny mall and is the first stall to the left when you walk in. We got the Joe's Signature Rice Roll that came with beef, pork, dried shrimp, egg, and vegetables. Apparently we got sliced hot dogs in our rolls as well. Not complaining at all, they were unbelievably delicious. The rolls are made from rice batter and filled with ingredients of your choice. They use the traditional method of grinding the rice with grindstones, which gives the rice rolls a smooth and silky texture, and although lovely, can be tricky when you try picking them up with chopsticks. They cook the rolls in front of you, and once you get them, you can season them with soy sauce and, of course, chili oil. In my opinion, this is the best thing we ate today. This location is the OG, but they've since expanded into the city. And this concludes our first Flushing food tour, and definitely not our last. We hope you've enjoyed coming along with us. If you've been to Flushing Chinatown, we'd love to hear some of your favorite places to eat. And if you have recommendations for places we should try on our next food tour, please leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and hope to see you on our next adventure. We're so hungry, it took us forever to get here. Uh, coming from Jersey City, so <laughs> on the weekend commute. We did not account for all of the yeah. construction on the trains, the rerouting. So yeah. it took us literally three hours to get the spicy beef, uh, the yang yang noodles. Just, and then what did you order? Uh, traditional burger. Okay, traditional burger. Yeah. Hold on, Chinese burger. Yeah. Not too spicy. Again, flavor, very, very flavorful. Spice level may be like a four or five. I can handle this for sure. Um, definitely is not going to make me cry. So she's happy. But she's still happy when she cries, when she eats. This is good, guys. <laughs>